Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have my movie collection in CED format. So I even have my old Montgomery Ward CED player, which I use to play the movies. So what is a CED? Well, CED stands for Capacitance Electronic Disc. Essentially, this little uh, case here holds kind of a fancy record inside. If you're uh, used to the old phonographs or record players, well, they have, uh, th there's a vinyl piece and then they have grooves and a needle actually reads the signals in those grooves. Well, these old movie players did the same thing. It was kind of a modification of the old vinyl discs. And these discs were kind of popular in the 1980s and actually directly competed with the VHS tapes, the Beta uh, Max tapes, and also the laser discs. Some people confuse these with the laser discs since they look kind of similar. So of all the 1980s movie formats that you could purchase, this probably wasn't the most popular. Of course, the VHS tapes were much more popular. Uh, Betamax were, was popular for a time, but they kind of fizzled out. Laser discs did kind of last for a while. Uh, they were higher, higher quality, better movie picture, but they were also very expensive. Now, the benefit of the CEDs were they were less expensive than the three other formats. And the reason was because the technology to manufacture these discs were already in place because of the music industry. Uh, they just had to do slight uh, modifications to the existing presses for the uh, phonograph albums uh, to manufacture these CED discs. But unlike the record player discs or albums, the CED discs are much more sensitive uh, or fragile because uh, the lines, the grooves are much smaller and can get scratched very easily and therefore they uh, sold them in these cases and the actual disc is inside these cases and when you insert them into the player, you're basically inserting the disc itself and then you remove the case and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so just examining the disc, you can see like on, on one end, you get this little handle type thing, and most of them have these little handles, you know, front and back. But up on top, well, the bottom is kind of solid like that, but up on top, you can see there's a little bit of a separate plastic piece. And if you look on both ends, you see this little, little tiny uh, lever or switch that can actually be depressed. And in the player, uh, when you insert these, it activates these little, uh, little levers here to allow the album or the disc to be removed. So if you have tiny, tiny little fingers, you might be able to get a finger in there to release those little levers, but usually you need some kind of a thin, I, I usually use uh, chopsticks. You could also use pencils or a little end of a pen. And you basically have to release both ends of these to remove the discs. Now what I usually do, I'm just using a chopstick here. What I usually do is just start with one side. So I take this and, and kind of release that little lever and lift up a bit and you can see that the plastic lifted up a little bit farther than it did before. So I just hit that and then I release that. And while holding that end up, I take the other end and do the same. And when they're both released, and you can see the little lever here, uh, now the disc itself is exposed. And the disc actually comes in uh, two sides, so that's one side. And that's the other side. And this is kind of flimsy, so be very careful. This disc, don't touch it with your fingers or anything like that, is very delicate and oils can affect the picture quality and it's very easy to scratch these. So if you're like me and like to collect these old movie formats or these CED discs, I do recommend if you're uh, purchasing these, maybe open them up and just examine uh, you know, one side. You don't want to pull the whole thing out, the disc will fall out. 
but you can kind of just examine uh, what we're seeing here. Uh, you know, look for smudges, debris, scratches especially. Um, if they are dirty, they're very difficult to clean. So you, you want to try to find an example that is very clean without any scratches. One little scratch or even some dust. Uh, dust is fine generally, but even dust will affect the image quality. Usually the stylist, Yes, these have like record player stylus. They're much more uh, fine and precise, but the stylus that come in the machine tend to clean a lot of these grooves out. So a little bit of a dust won't affect it long term. You just play it once. The second time you play it, it usually cleans it off. But definitely scratches you want to look for. And if you see a if you see a scratch on these discs, don't buy it. It just probably won't play in the future. So to, so to close it all up, you just carefully insert it back in. The little levers lock in place and it should be fine. Okay, so here I took off the top of the CED player itself. I kind of want to show you how it uh, removes the disc from the case as you insert it. So it's inserted right here in front. As you can see, here's the case coming through. And now the machine will kind of grab and release these little two little levers on either end and hold on to this plastic component and pull out the actual disc when I stick it in there. And as I remove it, you can see the disc remains in place. And then you can see the top plastic portion is gone as well from the case. And to replace it, you just stick back in the case. It goes all the way in, grabs back onto uh, the disc, and as you pull it out, the disc is removed with the case. And there you go. That is how you open up and examine a CED disc, especially if you're trying to buy it scratch-free. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen, and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.